Welcome back. In the last video, we created a deck of cards programmatically. The only issue was that the deck is ordered, and when you do anything with cards, you usually want to have them shuffled. So in this video, we're going to learn how to shuffle the cards. Now everything you see right now on screen is the code that we wrote last time to create a deck. And because we might want to create multiple decks, I want to actually put all of this code inside of a function, so we could reuse the function multiple times. So to do that, I'm going to write the keyword function, and I'm going to name this function create deck. And so we have the open and closing parentheses and the opening and closing braces. And now I'm going to put all of this functionality inside of the function. So now whenever we want to reuse this, we can just call the function create deck. We have to make sure that we return out of here the deck that is created. So I'm going to return after all of this we're going to return the deck, and that should work. So I could run this function, but we wouldn't really see anything because we're just returning the deck. We're not logging it out anymore. We're just returning the deck to whoever calls this function. So here's what I'm thinking about for shuffling this deck. I'm going to pick up the card at position zero, which is this ace of diamonds. And right now the cards are all ordered. And I'm going to place it in a random position. So I'm going to pick a random position, so from 0 all the way up to 51, and let's just say it happens to be the 51st or 52nd card, so the 51st position, because we are 0 based here, we're starting at 0, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card, place it in position 0, and then take this card that I just picked up a second ago and place it in position 51. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the next card. I'm going to pick up the item or the card at position 1, I'm going to pick a random number, so I pick a random position, let's say it's this one, I don't know what position this would be, but it'd be like, I don't know, 30 something maybe. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, put it in position one, and I'm going to take my deuce, which was the second card, the one I just picked up, and I'm going to put it in the position that I just picked it up from. Same thing for the next card. So I'm going to pick this card, and I'm going to pick a random position in the deck, and then switch it out with whatever card is there, placing the new card in the third position, or in position two. And I'll continue for all of the cards in the deck, and eventually we'll have a randomized deck. So let's try to recreate this functionality step by step. The first step is that we want to be able to go through every single card, or every single position where there's a card in the deck. So I'm going to create a loop to allow me to do that. So let's do a for loop again. And we'll start at position zero, which is the first card. And we're going to go up until I is less than 52. When that stops being true, that means we're at the 53rd card, and normal decks have 52 cards. So we want to go up to 52, and we'll do i++ so we can increment i by 1 every single time we run through this loop. And that will allow us to look at all 52 cards. Now the next thing we want to implement is being able to pick up each card that we're then going to place in a random position. And remember that we're going to take whatever's in that random position and put it in this position, eventually. So First, I want to be able to pick up every single card at each position. So to do that, I'm going to create a new variable, and let's call it temporary card, or temp card, and that will be the card in the deck at position i. So when i equals 0, that's going to be the first card. When i equals 1, that's going to be the second card, and so on. Now the next thing I need to do is pick a number between 1 and 52 to place the card at. And actually, because I'm not using 1 as the first position, I really am going to go from 0 to 51. And that will still be 52 values. So let's Google how to find a random number like that. I'm going to type in JavaScript random number generator. Maybe random number. And I could do between 1 and 100, and then I can modify it from 0 to 51. So let's see how we can use uh, the random number generator. So from this example, we can use the floor method in the math library, and as its input, give it the random uh, method in the math library multiplied by the number that we're looking for, the integer that we're looking for. So if we're going from 0 to 9, you multiply it by 10. But since we're going from 0 to 52, we're going to multiply it by 52. So this is the exact code that I want to use in my project. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in my code editor. There we go. Now, because I'm going to reuse this, over and over again, I want to set it as a variable. So this is going to be our uh, random index. 
we're going to set it equal to the value here. But we have to make sure that we don't multiply it by 10, we multiply it by 52. So that way we get a number from 0 to 51. And this is the position that we're going to place our card at. So next, we want to take the card that's at this random position and set it equal to the deck at the position that we're looking at that we go when we go through it sequentially. So to do that, to reassign the value of the of the card that's at position i, I'm going to set deck i in square brackets equal to the deck and then I'm going to take that random index and this will take that random card and place it in the position that we were just looking at. So on line 16, we pick up the first card, we pick a random number, and then we put another card in its position. Um, and remember, I still have that first card in this temporary card value. So what I could actually do is place this temporary card, place the card we just picked up, and place it in the position that was just the uh, random index because now it's like empty. Yeah, actually, it's not empty, it's kind of been copied, but we want to replace what's at a uh, random index and replace it with the card that we just picked up. So that is going to be the temporary card. So now if we go through the entire deck and shuffle each card just like this, we have created our shuffling mechanism. So because I might want to shuffle a deck multiple times, once again, I'm going to turn this into a function that I'm going to name shuffle deck and I'm going to put everything inside of here in this function. Now there's one thing I'm noticing and that is that we are not taking in an input and we really should take an entire deck as an input. Um, so I'm going to, I'm actually going to name it deck and that is the parameter that we're going to use inside of this function. So I kept using deck here which was actually the name of the variable in my other function but now it's the parameter. So if I want to change this, so I could have named this the um, another deck, and then everywhere else in the code, I would have to name it another deck uh, when I change its position. But I'm going to go back to deck, and that should work. This will allow us to shuffle our deck. Now the last thing I want to do is test this out. I want to actually see this in action. So first we want to create a deck. So I'm going to create a new variable and call it whatever. Even though this is a terrible name, I'm just going to make this equal to uh, create deck. So this will create our deck for us and store it in the variable called whatever. And then we want to shuffle the deck. So we're going to shuffle deck, open and closing parentheses, but inside we're going to pass in uh, whatever because that is our deck. Or I really shouldn't name it whatever. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it test deck. Okay, and then I'm going to shuffle the test deck, and that should shuffle everything that's in there. And then I'm going to console.log. I want to actually see what this test deck looks like. And if we run this, this should work. So, uh, so let's open up the terminal, and we're going to run our code. And if we look at it carefully, it looks like this deck is unordered. So we have our 10 of clubs first, then the 5 of diamonds, then the 6 of clubs, then the 8 of hearts. So it looks like it's been shuffled. If we run it again, it should look a little different. So now it starts with the queen of hearts, 10 of clubs, ace of hearts, and so on. So we've succeeded in shuffling our deck. So now all that's left in the next video is to take five cards from here and create a poker hand and be able to identify a poker hand from the five cards. I'll see you next time.